Hey Rush, it's Reckless here and welcome to the second part of our draft bound series video. Today we have Freeloader here accompanying us to analyze yet another match and this time it's going to be between S Gamer and Mission to Mars otherwise known as The Singularity on Discord. So this happened in the second stage in the winner's bracket. Today we have S Gamer playing as Winter Pact, The Singularity playing as the Ironclad Union. <laughs> I just want to say, I have never seen a draft deck list as perfectly, cre as perfectly created as what Mission to Mars has put forth here. This is as close to the ideal, I think, as anyone could ever hope to get. Yeah, so you have a bunch of constructs, and then you also have upgrade point. You have a, quite a two, set of two runners as well, and you just have a very solid mana curve. Like It's overall just... Is it looks very terrifying to play against. I would not want to be as gamer in this position. Does Mission to Mars get to keep this for the whole rest of the tournament? Like, can he just so, say, I don't feel like redrafting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can actually. There is um no that way. is actually a rule in place. If we look at if we take a look at S Gamer's deck, it sucks that there is no um free synergy here, even though we have Shivana, which basically makes Shivana just the worst uh cabin girls here. And then I think the main win condition here would have to be true shot post because I don't see a world where a scammer can actually somehow outvalue the, the monster that we have on the other side. Yeah, no, he's going to need true shot post to land. He's going to need it to do some yeoman's work and then maybe get lucky where he can hold front for a turn, drop a hearth into hearth guard sort of a thing in the mid to late game. I think that's his... His best chance. Hysteria maybe can provide some value somewhere, but having both Hysteria and Execution feels a little heavy on the control, especially in a deck where you're hoping to land True Shot Post. I don't know how many targets he's going to have for those. The, oh, and there's my cat who's excited to see this. So why don't we jump in and let's, uh, let's see the game. And we begin. Mission to Mars going first on the top plays his upgrade point in the corner. They shake hands, as polite players I, should. I don't see a world where you don't execute that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> then they're just S, -game, S gamers thinking about it and then decides to cycle first, says, I don't need free booters anytime soon. I think that's correct. Um, well, actually, I would execute first and then cycle free booters just because then you don't see free booters even longer than that's that. But... Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, no, I was saying this. not wanting free booters is correct. I think you're right, though, that you probably want to cycle first. Fluffy is a nice, big, juicy, big, beefy minion here. This feels good. Yeah, very strong, very strong. So far, not bad. I hopefully, True Shot can get set down. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. But that is the best chance. Oh, another Fluffy. <laughs> fluffy into a Fluffy. It's like a Fluffernator. All right, so what are we doing here? We, we can actually... Clear. Oh, and that's wow. Okay, we don't want to cycle first, um, hoping for pog value this turn. I guess maybe with sly um, boots. Yeah, that's definitely why he didn't want to cycle there. Makes sense. I think you just need to just set down true shot postal if you whenever you get the opportunity. Agreed. Because mission to Mars is not running any form of removal for that. Oh. So that is. I mean, you can set down a true shot now if you really want. Which I don't know. I think I would do it just. It's just so valuable. I think I think I don't see a world in which you can't win without it, right? Like you you need it to win. But we're gonna okay, well, we're thinking about it. I, I agree with that change. Okay, this makes I it would even just do true Yeah, shot. I think it's true shot here. Um It's not mana efficient, but in total you will get eight strength value, even if it like gets killed. This not so much. What why it gets he wanted to slow it down so it gets a vitalize effect. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. At least now, I mean, the problem is now you probably, well, you maybe can see Trush on front of the GP. I think no matter what, you just have to set down on. on. Okay, now you can't set down the Trush on post there. This was a Lord. good into the corner. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. <laughs> Blue shot into excited. That has to be the play. I really hope. But even so, you you actually end up risk losing. So that actually is a little greedy, maybe. I I think I, you have to take a risk now. Oh. Oh. Hysteria. 
that might be the play Hysteria Slide Boots. Or yeah. His- no, I would still I would still true shot. I think so. I I'm think telling so. You, you yeah, need you, you need the true shot. shot. You do need the true shot. And you can true shot right behind that unit, enemy unit. Oh no. Oh, okay. okay. This is where you slow down the value. By doing this play, you sure you get the removal, but it's actually better to take the damage here. And then just it wasn't even much that much damage, just three hit three damage. Take the damage, set down a true shot, and then you just get infinite value, and you probably can win just like that. Yeah, I agree. You, there's no other way to outvalue this deck, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's gonna get stuck in this endless loop of not being able to to do much. I think that's the biggest problem I see here. Well, we can do it again. Whoa! No, no. don't do that. No, no, no. That I hurts. mean, now you can free booters potion excited mousers if that means anything. So he wants to get the excited mousers value, I guess, by placing that. Okay. I mean, he's still not in lethal. Like he is in lethal range, but right. he would need the set. He would need Turvic Slayers and the other runner to pull it off. So this feels this feels bad now. Yeah, this feels pretty terrible. That's actually a pretty bad confuse because now, well, if it goes to the right, it's a pretty bad confuse because then. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, not so sure what happened there. I don't know, we, we lost your audio for a minute, but that's quite all right because the game has been continuing and it's just it's value town mission to mars is taking us gamer to value town here uh i don't know oh my gosh is it a full clear it is a full clear look at this wow he's stabilized how about that so now the question is can mission to mars sneak all the way down the board or has the game oh Oh, that's right. The terrific slayers. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, the value is actually gross. Four mana for seven. Yeah. Oh, and the sly boots. This clear. I mean, now you can do a Shivana Duskbringers play. I think that's that feels good. Still not. Or you could even. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I, I would do it. I would do it. Yeah. Shivana, but I would put Shivana a little bit more From further up because yeah. you don't want the terrific players to cycle back. And then it's probably really hard. keeping fluffy makes sense. You need to just play safe now. Four each, four health left. It is. If you true. can drop down true shot, you have a good chance of winning. Oh his, gosh, oh, debug longers. Oh no. His, his value cards are so gross. I know, there's so many constructs too. It's just. <laughs> oh. I think this is like what I meant by should be pushing for. If you, if you put the Shivana one tile higher, he could actually go aggressive with. Yeah, he could have yeah. actually went aggressive with like Fluffy. Fluffy True Shot, that'd been gross. I mean, you can still do it. I think you, you do. I think you, here. yeah, I think you have to fluffy true shot here for sure. Yes. Uh, okay. There. What? what? If he does that, it doesn't make sense because then he can't, then he can't clear it anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have yeah, to put you, it away. Uh, but why? Oh, so he's trying to, okay, he's tucking oh. it. Now you understand. That's not actually the worst. That's pretty smart. He's taking, well, at four life though, he's giving front and, and making it. That's true too. He's, yeah. We're rolling a little bit of a dice here that that we're gonna be able to to stabilize off of this. Flaming. Okay, yeah, it seems like he's alive. Yeah, it seems like he's not totally lost. And the age is in charge. Oh, well, he's at oh, one oh, now. No. Well, this GP is actually gross. It just soaks up the damage from the true yeah. shot. Oh. The true shot. I mean, you can slide have... boots. Slide boots hard guards into excited mousers, which is pretty beautiful honestly honestly i does excited mouse just trigger how does that work i don't remember it's surrounding how does that work again it confuses what is it surrounding folks we'll have to check this after the game (laughs) (laughs) not a card i play with too often (laughs) 
Because <laughs> there might be a chance you confuse it and then you like you uh you just you know you get it out of the way. Right. So so the the true shot is not so excited going monsters. to monsters. Why excited monsters just higher value here? Right. It's three strength. Exactly. So one strength higher. There's no reason not. To. And it might confuse the enemy unit. There's I don't know. There's I think that was a obvious smarter play. If <laughs> I need to check this card right now, actually. Uh, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Big shout out to Stormbound Kitty. Yeah. That's what I'm looking. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so it's a surrounding enemy based off the surrounding friendly units. Oh, that's right. He didn't have a surrounding. F ah, he could have moved to forward. Yeah, he could have moved to forward. Oh. He could have easily confused it, forced it to trade into the excited monsters or something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now, freebooters might have been actually more useful at this kind of mana cost. Like it's possible. Yeah, it's possible that he would have. He would have actually. Uh, uh, appreciated. Use. Either way, this hand is also perfect mana, but you don't have much going for you. <laughs> That's a problem. This is. I mean, one thing. This is okay, actually. One thing you could do. I think we'll ask him. Oh, he actually wants to clear. I don't think you want a full clear, but I think you. Yeah, this is. But this terrific is okay. clear just kills that. That's the problem. Does it still? Like terrific, like it, it takes so much value out of it. Oh, I, I, mm. this is well. Well, like, if he if he has terrific slayers, I think at this point you'd rather him have to use it defensively than offensively because you're dead. <laughs> so yeah, so. but but like when I analyze this kind of board, the way I see it is you're dead either, next turn either way. Like right, right now. There's no way you can clear the Loris and then the other feline on the other side. So realistically, what he should have done, which I would have done, is play super aggressively and let that unit sit there. Like, let that unit sit there so that it's right. one less tile to have to defend. Yep, yep, nope, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, that closes the game. Yeah, no matter what, no matter what, I think that was going to finish the game. And in fact, he didn't use terrific slayers defensively, so yeah, <laughs> he used it not defensively. Not defensively. Yeah, uh, I, I, there was an interesting match. The, the first, the first couple of turns kind of went as we expected. Um, finding good use for execution uh, was great. There was that moment where it was, I think, do or die for the true shot post. Land it and and have a chance. And not, and I just feel like you were right that S Gamer had to put too many resources into stabilizing, and then there was just nothing. There, he was out of gas for the next couple of turns, trying to get back around to the to the value cards again. Yeah, pretty much. There was, like I said from the very beginning, I think the only win condition would actually be True Shot Post. <laughs> it's it's a pretty horrendous deck to face. Like uh, Mission to Mars's deck is just so much better in a sense i would say like definitely higher rated here oh for sure for sure uh so you you have to take risks and if you're going to take risks the real trick is knowing when to take them right like you don't want to be risky all the time you're going to lose too often but if you don't if you don't sort of pull the trigger on on taking risk at the right time it's gonna just be hard to ever win the value game uh there's debug loggers there's ooh, upgrade point um the other thing that I noticed is that, uh, uh, like I said before the match started, um, having both Execution and Hysteria is just turning out to be one of those cards is always dead, right? And, yeah, and, and you, you also have Loris too. So, oh. oh, wait. Sorry, he has Giovanna. My, my right, mistake. right. So he's got Giovanna, which is effectively a dead card. I mean, it's not, it's not totally dead. It, it's at least a body on the board. But the uh, Hysteria just feels absolutely, absolutely rough because... You're just not finding any use for it. Uh, that's yeah, it's one of those gimmicky cards. If the enemy sees you have Hysteria, they're just going to play around it, and then it's like very hard to do anything with it. But in general, I didn't feel like uh, uh, Mission to Mars had to do anything funky to play around it. Like, like Debug Loggers has movement. Therefore, it starts side to side with your other construct unit, and it moves forward. Now you've played around Hysteria. Ta-da. Uh, yeah. 
So it's just it's just base locking where it it had some value and I I think not enough. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. All right, well let's get into game 2 then. Yep. Moving forward, here is game 2. Mission to Mars gets to go first again. The handshakes come out. It is a green prototypes opener for Mission to Mars. We have Age Duskbringers, which is gone. And now we have a choice of Giovanna for four. We're excited Mousers for three. He made the right decision going for more value. And also fitting so, the mana curve better. Yeah, the, the GP start from Mission to Mars was kind of bad, I would say, for three mana. He has like, quite a few other cards like that are lower mana cost. So I'm not so sure what's going on in that hand, but it's kind of surprising to me, actually. Debug loggers and Flaming Stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Okay, slide oh, boots. The, the fluffy on five. That gamer keeps uh, pulling this out. Last game was the fluffy on five mana. This turn, this time Ooh. fluffy on five mana. Love it. Oh, I didn't even realize, but there might. There's so much confusion actually in this deck. It's kind of silly. Maybe that's what makes it such a low-rated deck. But I mean, you can maybe make some use with Hysteria with all this confusion. He actually finds some. Oh, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. So this confusion kind of sucked. Yeah, because otherwise you would have gotten a full clear. Yeah, but hmm. interesting. So like mission to Mars here, playing super aggressively, as you can see. I think it's too. No, don't do that. What? Why? <laughs> Why not just excited mousers? Oh, oh look at okay. this. Honestly, what I had in mind was just excited mouser's potion. That's so much value. But that makes sense. Honestly, that was pretty good. Not too bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. Now, oh, oh Loris would have been really rough there. I okay, just want to point here, that out. You you have actually very beautiful slide boots value. You can slide boots the bottom left, forcing it to get confused. And even though it doesn't do anything, like it won't actually hit the unit. Mm -hmm. At least you, you gave yourself one return. Okay, this is just better though. You have to probably do that. Or you Hard could also cards? execute potion. I think, honestly, I think I'm just gonna, I would just execute potion. Because hard cards doesn't full clear, but maybe next turn you can. And you also get rid of units. It's actually better. Yeah, and, so, and you get rid of a card that, that is otherwise hard to get rid of out of your hand. Yeah, pretty much. I would execute potion. Yeah, on top of that, it moves another unit out of um, out of Loris range, which feels good because th that L shape, knowing that your opponent runs Loris, that feels bad. So I was talking about this play before, but I just don't like it because it still stuck to the board. Right, and so it's going to make it. it harder to actually clear. You want to use that Sly Boots body as a way to damage the units, not as a nothing. Mm -hmm. Kind of is what I see in this play. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I honestly wouldn't have done that. Like here, oh, it's so doomed. Has Mission to Mars is going fully aggressive here. It's gonna be really hard to defend this. Well, we know we don't want the hearth, right? The hearth can go back here, or do we want to hold it? At, do we want to try to hold I, hope that we can I somehow? Would I would hold it only if you want to throw Javana back. There's the yeah. dream of hearth. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait, no, no, that's good. This, this is, is good. Like, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's actually not bad. Like, it's not perfect value. No, but it's okay. Hand. So now it's he potentially really just has lethal next turn with hearth in hearth guards. Yeah, that's true. But I don't I don't think you'll have it. But this was a very well uh, defended, like, Whew. this was a great defense. This was like the dream draw right there. Oh no, has Mission to Mars drawn a dud? He did. Oh my gosh, uh -oh. this just is lethal. Yeah. It just oh. Is. Great That's job. Weird. Great job not cycling out the hearth last yeah. turn and, and choosing Giovanna. Both of them played terrible defense, uh, but one of them opened up the possibility of a lethal this turn. And he did no. it. Oh, wait, no, it's not lethal this turn. Oh no! Oh, no, don't cycle that. Do not um, cycle that. Okay, the reason I said it was lethal is because honestly, when I'm watching off your side, I can't see the numbers too well. So I assumed it was already. I assumed it was a full body Shivan, but then I realized it was actually just two strength. Two strength. <laughs> oh gosh. That's kind of funny. Um, still 
No, don't do that. Why? I mean, what are the odds that he can clear your your? What are the odds that he can clear your front? Thing? I don't. I just don't see how this play is better than just using Fluffy. Like, why would he not just use Fluffy there? Mm, Instead of using hard cards, which is your only runner, you're better off using Fluffy and then using the Excited Mouse. So you live with the one health, isn't it? It's one health, I oh knew it. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> wow, that was a, actually a very close game. Very close game. All right, so well played. I do like the idea of going more aggressive. Uh, I think that S Gamer realized early on uh, that he wasn't winning a long game. There's just too much value in Mission to Mars's deck, right? So, so the answer is let's go aggressive. Let's try to win it early and see if we yeah. can't just get there. Uh, worked out. So moving yeah. into game three. <laughs> Uh, it was kind of uh, funny. That was a crazy battle for defense there. That was <laughs> the second game was just survive. That's all it was. And, and well played by S Gamer to find the couple of uh, uh, cards needed to, to survive just enough. I mean, and when I say just enough, I mean literally just, just enough. enough. Okay. <laughs> One. All right. Sly Boots after Excited Mousers. I like how these um, some cards in draft are so like they're almost like such high rated that you can't miss out on them. For example, mm. both players are running Sly Boots and um, the Fluffy Bad Boxers. They're good cards. They're just they're beefy. Both, yeah, they're just both solid cards. Why I'm not, sure like why not you... cycling Freebooters here? Again I with don't Fluffy like on five. I know, that. I'm telling you, he has this uh, cycling lucky charm. Right God. Right oh my goodness. I was going to say how um, it was kind of misplay for him to play his sly boots in the back there but it actually was worth it because the destructive bots took out one point of damage there this is interesting you know there's there's a pretty funny play which i wouldn't recommend here but it's possible that if you use fluffy on the feline on the sly boots since both constructs are confused they end up actually walking towards each other it's oh that would be really funny very hard it's like it's not likely but it's funny it is definitely funny. I think I actually like putting True Shot down here. You could use Fluffy next turn to confuse everything and clear. True. I would have I would have yeah, put True I Shot in column shot. two, right? Yeah. Oh Perfect. My, look at those look at those units just switch position. That's really funny. You go left, I go right. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, there's still no answer as to when do you play True Shot now. I think that's the problem. Like, S Camera just can't find these. Uh, his true shot turns and now it's it's, it's kind of going downhill from here mm -hmm. yeah yep, have we have to cycle it, it. and oh it's they're so bad <laughs> i think no that good. i think that's the miss i think the miss was right there column two on your baseline protected by a one health on one side and a two health on the other you don't really care about taking any of that damage uh and so obviously oh, you ahead. just want to survive so i think so you, you execute to... right Really? I would actually hearth in rebooters. Putting yourself at four to require him. Like, there's no way you lose at four health. Not yet. Yep. Okay. No, that's yeah, fair. Not yet. I think it's the only chance you have of actually. Well, then do you freebooters first just in case you run into. No, there's no. Yeah. Th yeah you, you, probably, you, you probably should. Probably should. Oh. Oh, he's going aggressive. You know, there's no chance. Well, wait, why there's, Why that one, though? Wait. Even greedier. What? He wants to get extra value from Vitalize. Oh, that's not going to matter. <laughs> I know it's not gonna. Oh, that's the problem. Okay, okay, okay. The problem, the another next problem here is the fact that, I mean, there's really no like, there's nothing. Oh my goodness. This is so okay. Bad. This is okay. Is it? No. It doesn't look so good. No, this is not okay. This is. If you take one point of damage, you're already yep. in lethal range. Just one. So, I mean, you can execute and then excited mousers, but even that doesn't do any good for you. Okay, cycle freebooters, though. Freebooters okay. goes away. Yeah, we have There's to get rid no of freebooters at this point. Freebooters is like the worst card that we've seen so far, right? It's been, yeah, it's been rough. Every Both players have been struggling so hard, and a player with freebooters just struggle so hard to make use of it. Well, it would help if you had mana gain in the deck, right? Yeah. Okay. That's true. 
the thing with the the drafts I set up, you see the legendary first card, so I'm right. guessing Eskimer took a chance to pick Giovanna, and then he was just hoping to get some better cards. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Confuse it. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not upset no. about that. Is it? Is it right? I I feel like now it's harder to deal that one point of damage there though. I don't think that was right. If anything, you could let it live and just play defensive on the left hand side so that the three strength would have walked there and then you could use the stereo on it. See the problem is we kept hearth guards, but we didn't keep the hearth this time. Also, we're a it, mana it off. Wouldn't be, yeah. yeah. It and we're like one damage on. Yeah. So you shouldn't you shouldn't have played super greedy with that potion. Like maybe would have done at least more damage. <laughs> actually, he would he have what he actually could he, have won. He could have won. He could have won. Oh yeah, my gosh! It would have done. It would have done four damage if if he let that walk in. That would yeah. have been wow. So then he has he he has his opponent at three health, and he yeah. just wins with hearth guards here. There's no uh, there's no saving this anymore. No, unfortunately yeah. not. But he could have actually won. I think there was two major decisions here. The potion was. In Correct, I'd say, and then I still would I have know. liked to have tried to put that true shot down. I, yeah, I think, me too. That, I think that would have really changed the game. Me too. Yeah. All right, and we are done. So, Mission to Mars uh, wins two games to one over S Gamer, and that puts S Gamer in the losers bracket, and then the singularity continues in the winners bracket. Do you think he keeps that deck? I think so. <laughs> I don't see a world where you don't. Um, there's probably only a couple other decks that can maybe compete with that at like the highest level of play. But it is definitely difficult. Yeah, that is an extremely good deck for this format of a tournament. Um, for those of you who've decided to sit and listen to our boring commentary after that exciting match, we thought we might give you a little gift here. Reckless, what have we got? So after Overdrive took the match from Frozen Earth and he continued in the winner's bracket, he actually got to play against his one of his buddies called Valdek. You can also see his YouTube channel, link in the description. And yeah, I mean, now they're playing their final game, actually, because Overdrive said he, he wasn't able to record the full match. He was able to record just the last game. So let's see what happens in this last game. I'm not so sure of the score, but we know it's the last game. So this has to be the deciding game. I'm positive of the score. It's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we have Ivaldek on top, Overdrive on bottom, Overdrive with an IC deck into a Shadow Fen. We're going to throw away Victors, and we have a Sound Driver's opener or an upgrade point, but we don't have any constructs in hand. Is this the same deck as last time? I think this this is the same deck as last time for Overdrive. Yes, this would yes, this would be the same deck as last time. But I'm not entirely sure of what Evolved deck drafted. We didn't get to um, analyze get to it that. actually. That's no, okay. Higher. So we'll just have to go with with what we what we can see here. Well, we assume there's no hysteria in the deck because Overdrive did not choose to play around it this time. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, Siege Breakers for value. I'm not so sure if Avaldic runs any structures here. I can actually take a look right now. Let me just hold it up. No, we're just gonna put. We're just gonna stick a a tower down and say, "Hey, boy, what up?" Oh, the gifted recruits Green Gale Serpents play next turn feels super powerful. Depending upon what evil deck chooses to do here, excited mousers. They don't call him the king of uh, confusion for no reason. There you go, Feline King. He has to. He took all. I think. He, I actually think he purposely took all the confusion cards he could. I would not track. be surprised. Uh, in this case, Windmakers actually looks really tasty. Yeah. Oh, well, that is just so disgusting. Actually. That is really gross. Yeah, that's not not sure about the cycling uh, uh, choice there to do it afterwards, but rewarded with booming professors, which feels pretty good. Yeah, so I was just taking. Oh, so there is hysteria in this deck. I'm oh. surprised he didn't actually play around hysteria in the first turn, unlike the last. Oh gosh, it's the hysteria bug. Did you see that? 
No, I didn't. I didn't see that. So he he hysteria the mouse, and it the rat and it stayed the rodent and it it stayed where it was. Oh, so then uh, what? The, the other the windmakers attacked into him. Is that what happened? Or? Yeah, but it didn't it didn't matter. Like like we'll, we'll go back and look at it afterwards. But this actually bit me in the last uh, brawl. Uh, was uh, uh, he hysteria a unit that then took the damage that it was supposed to, but didn't switch cells. It stayed in the original cell. This place seems terrible. I'm not... Why? This is a little bit terrible. I mean, it's like okay, but I think even booming, just sitting setting down a booming would have been a little bit better. So we went, we went super aggressive with the Green Gale to put it in the corner and force a trade... Uh, Otherwise, Eval deck starts taking damage and concedes complete front of the board. On top of also, that, yeah, sorry, I'm taking a look at uh, Valdex's um, his deck here, mm -hmm. and it says he actually is running two shot pose. So I was, I'm a little bit surprised that I don't know, I'm a little bit surprised. Like, sorry, I haven't been even keeping track, but did Overdrive hold on to Seed Breakers the whole match? Yes, he has. Okay, so that makes actually a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to cycle that out there. Probably wow, not. Valdek, Valdek actually gives him the... Gives him the, the buff? buff that, I wouldn't do that. I mean, taking the... Wow, um, that's surprising. I would not have done that because you can clear the structure. Take one damage. It doesn't really matter. Right. You're still happy. Why this way, though? Yeah, this didn't make much sense either the, the other the other way you would have complete control of the board and your opponent has no front this way you're you're not giving like vitality or anything another tick you're just yeah i would do the other way you're you're obviously giving um you reset the front line you make it harder to clear the structure and then you kind of just win i mean right here the structure is going to get disgusting value Two shot post comes out, but Overdrive's been holding on to Siege Breaker's entire game. So it doesn't really matter. It does not. That feels really good. Rewarded. Yep. Thinking about any other plays here, we've got Dragonling. Do we want to cycle something? Uh, sure. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You can bait. Almost bait. Almost. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you kill. <laughs> I mean, you gotta I kill would, the true shot anyway. Yeah. And then, yeah. Wait, really? Oh. Not the Windmakers. Why not? It clears the yeah, board I mean, again. It clears the board, it gives you more room, and it also almost base slots. Uh huh. I don't see a reason. It even plays around his studio. So, does the Hysteria is. move at this? Okay, so this. Nope, see, it didn't move them. Yeah, I almost saw that. That's so weird. That is such that a is bizarre. Weird. It 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 cost me a game in the last brawl. <laughs> what is going on with this area? Look at the personal service in the back. Oh, no. Just having a beer. Yeah, the best part about it is that summon militia is now going to kill the upgrade points. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. Wind it's one. Here. It's one. It's one health. Yeah, but use the wind. You want to use the windmakers to to yeah, but I I yeah. wanna I wanna let I wanna unleash what? those personal servers. Yeah. Really? I don't know. No? Don't you? Stall to the late game, have some fun. So I he's just trying to have a beer, you know? Let him just Yeah, but at enjoy. some point you want him to go march down the field <laughs> and win a game. <laughs> no, no, you just wanna Oh there we go. Yeah, so, so now there's another upgrade point to clear. Oh my he should have windmakers <laughs> that. He should have windmakers that double upgrade point. Oh my god, that would have been so gross. <laughs> That's true. He could have he could have windmakers that double upgrade pointed and then just let that oh my god, those personal servers would be the largest ever. <laughs> that would have been the play. Barrel Shaman, you don't see this card often, but actually it's really bad. good here. Look at that. It's actually very strong. Oh, oh my goodness. See, you should have just let him yeah. chill with his beard. Look at that. Now he's gone. And the poor guy didn't have a chance. By the way, uh, booming professors in front of that lich summoner feels really fun here. The most beautiful, yes. I would definitely do it. I just... No, we're gonna... Okay. No, this really? is fine, though. Yeah. So I'm guessing he wants to clear with spear personal? I don't know how much I like that. I don't think that's what he wanted to, to bounce on. 
He's probably looking for it to bounce on the heroic soldiers. Right. So we'll fight it first. You always have that that pretty beautiful three damage chip from Booming. Booming is just so good. Agreed. Such a strong card. <laughs> like at this point, you can set it down. You have the complete control of when to play it and just do three damage. Wow. Oh, okay. So he's playing for the siren. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, okay. yeah, he does okay. win from this play. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he just went from this play. That makes complete sense. The ball deck knows what's coming. Yeah, he knows. He doesn't have a chance. You can hear the call of the siren. Actually, he could win here with. Uh, oh, okay, I was gonna say you booming, could booming, boom, booming. booming in the green game. And that takes that game. So that would mean overdrive moves further into the winner's bracket, and then the ball deck drops to losers. That's a pretty nice game, though. That was a pretty nice game. Um, that deck is working out very well for Overdrive, even though the upgrade point only has personal servers for synergy. He's finding oh he's finding that <laughs> synergy every match. Yeah, he just reminded me. That's hilarious. He's making use of all of the resources in the deck. Wow, that's quite quite amazing to see, actually. Well, congrats to all of uh, all of the winners, and good luck to the losers in the losers bracket. Hope they can uh, win their way back to the uh, to the finals. And either way, we'll be back again sometime soon to uh, call another game.